Hello and welcome back to Nortricity. So, one thing that I was coming to a t well, I didn't even notice he planted that tree. It's only the bad thing about having these guys around. The next thing you know, I have trees everywhere, and I don't know why, but he doesn't have any hitboxes, <laughs> so I can't really kill him. Or I can't find a hitbox. But anyways, so this episode I wanted to go ahead and work on, I don't usually use potions as much. I like having them on hand, but then I end up forgetting about them. I'd rather have, and that was the one thing I thought about for next season. Uh, finding a mod that I can use, that can apply potions maybe to armor or weapons. I don't think I have that in right now. I don't think I have any of those in right now. But I like the concept of potions, and I like having them handy for if I need them. But every time, most of the time, I just don't end up using them. Now, I might have to look through it, but I might actually have it... I might actually have a mod that I can put a potion on a belt. But I like this one, so I kind of want to keep this. Even though I'm not too sure if it's working at the moment but i haven't been hit by anybody i think in the old witchery it ended up being where if you got hit then it would start producing but i, I want to say that just when you put it on it, it would go ahead and start producing so i don't know and i'm using this right now which the demon protection and the spirit protection is really the two that i guess is going to end up working as far as but I'm not sure if the demon protection ends up protecting me against anything other than the wit the bewitchment um, demons that I summon. Now I did notice that uh, what was it? I think it's there was a mod that a guy was making called Coven, and he stopped making it for a while to go and team up with the bewitchment people. If I'm understanding this correctly, just by reading some of the stuff he said. And now he's come back and went ahead and done his own. So there is actually two successors now. There's the Bewitchment, which it gets updated so often right now. Even this one right here, I'm way behind on as far as this model. So I know they've changed some stuff. But the thing is, when you have a lot of mods, anybody that's just familiar with it, you can't... It's difficult sometimes upgrading because you, you might just crash the world. And I have noticed that there's a lot of mods that I just don't really use. And so we're going to try to touch on some of those and as the series goes along. I'm going to stop like exploring as much because I've kind of explored quite a bit at the moment. And the more I go out, the more it goes ahead and kind of slows it down. So there is that. But anyways, so this time we're going to go ahead and work on some of the Bewitchment potions. Now I have went ahead and made a couple, which I guess I went ahead and used already. Let's get this down here. Take out Britannia. Nether Wart. Take those. And we're going to also make uh, a few arrows to see how it ends up being. But all right, let's see what we need. Oops, hold on. I hit the wrong thing. Okay. Like, just had a little, like, wood ash is what I need to go ahead and clear the potion. Whenever this ends up kind of going. Alright, uh, go to... Now, see, we've got the regular ones right here. This is the ones you drink. And then the funny-looking bottles are the splash potions, of course. And then you have these big ones. But... I can't make it at the moment because it takes dragon breath to make the big bottle. So we're just not going to even mess with those at the moment. But it looks like you got all the potions and then it's the pl the splash variants and then the big bottle variants and then the arrow variants. So pretty much you can have, you know, they're all the same. So there's not any differences as far as, you know, one is only offered in one and one is you can actually drink an instant damage potion. <laughs> so... That's the way I'm looking at it so far. Fire resistance is one. Now, it just takes magma cream 
I'm not too sure. Is that actually cheaper than just making a fire? And how long is it for? It's for a minute 30. And this one's for three minutes. So it's actually cheaper to go ahead and make the other one. That stinks. Hmm. But I do want this. I want it the extinguish. Which I don't think we have that up here. This is just fire resistance. Every time I keep on going into the nether. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have it anywhere else. Anytime I keep going into nether, I end up... Contains the power of... See, between lands is going to be a whole wild way of making... What is that? Of making uh, potions. We need to make some... That'd probably be cheaper. Aloe vera, brick, and coal just to make the... Fire resistance for three minutes. I might have to check into that. But anyways, whenever I go into the nether and I get hit by some of the... I think it's the hellhounds. I catch on fire and it takes up all my screen. So I do want to go ahead and make some of these. The, the extinguish. Puts out flames on you. That I think kind of will come up in handy because I've almost... I've got two of them already. But I think I want to make quite a bit more so what we end up doing takes mint seeds which you know you just go ahead and plant it and you'll get a ton of seeds i think that's for what it is it's a pretty cheap decent spell that i'm or in potion that i would end up using quite a bit and have it on me now one thing i did end up finding out is yeah right here this bag does not use you can't put these in here now, it would be cool if you could, but it doesn't work. Now, I thought these weren't working at first because I was doing the hold down, the right click, and it was. I just had the wrong the instant health up here, so I just kept on wasting this to health. So, in this bag, I'm still deciding which one I'm going to put in here. I'm thinking I might just stock it up with strength 2 potions. That way, I can just go ahead and charge it up and then have a strength two potion or it might be a backup peel still figuring out that if this won't fit in there i bet most of the other ones i have won't fit either but what we end up needing on the extinguished one you throw in nether wart for first nether wart first that gets us started and then you throw in another one the mint seed and then you got the little bubbles And then you get lag and right click. Now see, the one thing I've noticed is that once I right click it, it gets down there. There's still potion in it, but it doesn't always, it won't let me go all the way down to the bottom. That's one, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. See there, it got me another one. It's like a cooldown timer maybe. But not always. See, it looks like I have enough for one more bottle in there. But it won't always... It won't let me get the rest. Then you just throw in the ash and it goes ahead and clears it out. I need a barrel. Oh, not a barrel. I need a bucket. So we got five. I do miss the old... How the old witchery was it because it was just to me it was just so i don't know i just liked how it ended up being this one it has to be either a cooldown timer or it's just three bottles out of it and that's all it's not giving me anything else I can't get that last bit out of there. Nope. I do like how they're using the wood ash to go ahead and clear it. Because I was getting a ton of wood ash and it was just like, well, what am I going to end up using that for? Take it. Oh, 
And I'm not going to sit here and just make a whole bunch of mint. I was just kind of showing that that one, I don't have another, I don't think there's another potion in this set that ends up offering that same extinguish fire. Come on. So the interaction right here, it looks like you could end up getting four out of it, but it's just, I can't get that last amount. Okay. So I got 11. That's fine for right now. I'll work on the rest of it later as far as that goes. But let's look at some of the other potions. Some other ones what I think that would be beneficial. Be which... Alright, oops. Oh, this was another one I wanted. I think that was one. Alright. Absorption. I think uh, all the... Like the regular ones that you're getting, uh, normal Minecraft, I think they're just going to end up being just beneficial just to use the regular ones. Because that's a golden apple and you only get 15 seconds. Eh, visibility, jump boost we don't need, night vision no, poison no, regeneration no. But that's a gas tier. That just seems like a little bit expensive to me. Nausea, blindness, wither. I thought about putting that on. That is a cheap cost. And I could put it on an arrow. I think that would be pretty good. For a Belladonna. That's not bad at all. But let's look at the rest of these. Strength boost. That's just a little bit too much for me. Haste. <coughs> Glowing. Now luck. Rabbit's foot. I didn't have any rabbit's feet. Resistance. I don't even have a heart on that. And it's only two seconds. That just... To me, that's a little bit too expensive. Now, the Wolfsbane... That's... It says it deals damage to wolves and Therians. I think it will be better as a splash potion. It's not that expensive. But I think that would be better as a splash potion. Demon's Bane... That's relatively cheap too. But as I said at the moment, I don't think that the only demons I'm going to have is just from the Bewitchment Bond. So let's look at this. Removes all beneficial. We don't want that. Plants any seeds on the ground. Bulletproof negates damage from projectiles. We already did that one. Don't need that one. Gates fall damage. Now see. Oh, that's only a garlic clove, and it can use either one of them. Splash potion for that might not be that bad either. Damages undead spirits and demons, but has no effect on the living. Let's see. There's one that I was sitting there and allows to swim fast, removes leaves. No. Turns rock to gravel, so it's a lot of like mixing other stuff. I don't know what that one is. Effect amplifier. It's probably uh. This is the one I want to make right here. Shell armor. It's 45 seconds. The edges of your shell may hurt those that attack you. I think in a big boss battle or something, I think that that might come in handy. <laughs> And it only uses whatever that word is, which we end up have a few. So we're going to make a couple of those. And it's still the catalyst of this. There you go. Take it. So you get about three potions out of one interaction. So it's not too bad as far as that goes, as far as making some of the potions, but as far as all the baseline potions, and I can't get that last one. If I could get that last one, I bet if I had all the witchery stuff on, then I could get that last one. Like the armor. I wonder if that would work. Let's see. Workhouse, study, brewery. Let's go up to the brewery. And then, like, this is all the witchery 
armor. So let's see if this works. I don't know. It might not work. I'll come back and get my armor later. Yep, took all of them. Ah! You're not going to let me switch back over now? Guess not. Sometimes my belt switch works, sometimes my belt switch doesn't. Oh, that's because it was on the armor. Never mind. Derp. So let's go over here real quick. I forgot that that was all based on that one piece of armor from Tinkers. Now, I thought about also a lot of my... Every time I play, I end up having it where I use Tinkers. See, okay, this doesn't matter. I thought it would end up being able to take up that last one, but I guess not. I was going to go ahead and go, like try it out at least. There you go, come on. I don't like the cooldown timer of this. I think I've already said it. Come on. Now we're going to go ahead and use one of them. See if they, uh... What this ends up looking like. Okay, we've got the extinguish yellow. Shell armor. That's pretty cool. So we got those two. We're going to definitely make some more of those to carry around. But like I said, I'm not going to... There you go. I'm not going to go ahead and just sit there and make that over and over again. So those two definitely. What else do we got? We got... No, that's just... What? Gravel into sand? No, we don't need that. This one we... I don't know if they have the spirits and everything, or the illusions, so... But that would be more in the splash potion. MP recharge. Now, that might be a pretty good one later on. And it's only Mandrake Root, so that's not that bad of one either to have. And then it allows increased MP charge, and there's 10 seconds. So I think that... I think as far as that goes, that's all of those. What was I had this one for? Oh, there it is. Oh, night vision. So a golden carrot gives you 11 seconds of night vision. I didn't mean to hit that. Night vision. So this is a minute 30. Hmm. And then... I don't think a slime ball had anything. Nope. Alright, so the next one we wanted to make definitely was the arrows for this. Try those out. Let me see about arrow for this. I did make some splash ones, but... Or splash bottles. But at the moment, I don't think that I really need to have any splash bottles for most of the stuff. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I threw it in there first without putting the catalyst in there. Throw it in there. And then we'll just... Arrow? Hmm. So that didn't work. I figured that you could just throw the arrow in there.
Interesting. So that was wrong. So I need to do some more research on that as far as that goes. The book doesn't tell me too much as far as some of the stuff. I mean, it's very vague in a lot of the stuff it ends up saying. But we definitely want the shell armor and the extinguish. Those two, I think right now, would be the most beneficial for us. Now, as far as... Because this one... Oops. I don't think I want the night vision one. I don't really need it at the moment. This one was the... Yeah, the wolf's vein. Now we could go ahead and make a couple of splash potions like it. So I'm going to only be able to get two splash potions, I think, out of this. Maybe. Yeah, so it takes two splash potions completely. And then... So that's Wolfsbane. Throw that in there. Come on, take the last one. This one ends up being Demon's Bane. So we got Splash Potions of both of those. We might try it around, see how much damage it ended up doing later on. Now, another thing that I would like to go ahead and make, toss all that stuff back in there. I thought that wearing this might end up, well see that shows the bark armor. Does it? Yeah it does. But I didn't see it on my other class. Don't tell me I gotta wear this in order to have that work. That would stink. I might have to check that because now you can see it where it showed a piece of bark on the center of my chest. Now the next thing I needed to go ahead and make at least to go get started is a little bit of chalk. Because we're going to have to have chalk in order to go ahead and make all the other stuff. Oops. Yeah. Luckily, this one's easy to make, and it just uses birch lotion. We'll go ahead and put this in there. Cook that. Birch lotion. Got 25. And then we got, don't have the cobblestone right here, but we do have, okay, we got wood ash. Let's run over, oh, all my stuff was on my other one. Come on, get over there. I need some cobblestone. Give me that. That was switch back over here. And it also needed wood ash, which we have a ton of, thank goodness. Yeah, so don't toss away your wood ash. I was doing that at the very beginning because I really wasn't too sure how it ended up being of use. So I was just kind of like tossing it and not using it. And I don't know why I was. Whoa, that's enough. That's definitely enough. Because I think that, yeah... Like to make the gold one, see I need honey in it, and in order to have honey, if I'm not mistaken, and probably I am, honey requires to be dropped in there. I don't think the honey comes to work, but they might. Let's see. What else did it need to make a gold one? Because that's the center, the gold nugget and a cleansing bomb. Cleansing bomb. Do I not have the cleansing mom? No, I do not. 
What is Cleansy Mom? Oh, that's right. That's the stuff I didn't have. Tulsa, White Sage, Sagebrush, and Acacia. Oh, wait. I think I made some of that just recently. Nope, I didn't. Derp. But I, this one right here, I haven't been... Yeah, see, I've only got one White Sage. And... Sagebrush and Tulsa. Tulsi. So I have enough to make, what, one? I guess that's all I need, really. Oops. Wormwood. Oh, there it is. Sagebrush. There's a sagebrush, right, isn't it? Yep, and then we need acacia. I only got one acacia. Oof. And then we'll put this down in here. Still can't shift right click in it, or yeah, can't shift click it in. Alright, so that'll cook that up, and then we can go ahead and make this. Now I want to see. So is that honey? Give me wax. So that wasn't honey. <laughs> okay. Let's put this in there. This is all true in here, basically. So. Nope. Now, what about over here? See, this hasn't generated anything. Oh, yeah, it has. Empty honeycombs. What's the difference? Empty honeycombs and empty honeycombs. Why are those all glistening? See, it wouldn't even take that. Okay, so... Yeah, it says water you throw this one in there it's supposed to give you back empty honeycomb aha so you don't this one right here you don't use it's this one so you get these from the aviary nice okay so it's got honey in it already so I just need gold nuggets and a cleansing bomb, and I can make everything I need. Put these down here. All right, let's go get a gold nugget. I do like most of the stuff is the same, and it's just got like little subtle changes that I like, but. The book is just so vague, in my opinion. I don't know if I like that. We'll take all of them. And I do like this as having it like a non-tech version of a mass storage. I do like that. So hard to find. I think there is a mod just recently got released, maybe, that has... What is it? Um... Uh, mass storage system using books, I think. I was about to say, I thought that was done. Now, see, what it ends up saying I got to do now is I got two gold nuggets. Two gold nuggets, cleansing bomb, honey. We got the honey. Toss that in there. That in there. And that in there. There you go. Works perfect. Now, is it going to give me more than one? It looks like it should. But no. Alright, so we got... 
the focal chalk, which is the centerpiece, and then we got the white chalk. Now, next episode will probably... Well, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Birch lotion, I can do all that. Oh, yeah, rough quartz powder. Yeah, we can do that. And then the red focal one, fiery linguet, we can do... Yeah, so off camera, we'll probably make these two chalk. And I think next episode, we're going to try to go... We'll probably go into the uh, the between lands just to kind of explore a little bit and kind of get some idea of it. I'm going to also make a couple more white pieces of chalk so we can go ahead and start making our circles. I thought about having one big one right here, or maybe just one for decoration right here, and then right underneath have the big major ones. And the bad thing is, I've got 1,078 times 5. We might also work on filling up that goblet. Why does it keep on zooming me in? It's weird. Okay, so anyways, not much to it. We went ahead and made a couple of potions kind of show a little bit how some of the stuff is okay but not all of the the potions from here i think some of them if you make a mod i don't think that you should make maybe that's just my personal opinion and maybe it's not what everybody would like but i, I just don't feel like you should make the same mods or the same potions that we already have it just seems like I don't know, that's saved info you wouldn't have to have. You could go ahead and just have all new potions or twist on potions. Throw two potions in and get, you know, something different. I just, it seems like every one of them have the same potion. Now, sometimes I know it ends up being more beneficial. But, I don't know, it's just personal opinion, I guess. Beeswax. I wonder, oh, that's used to make the candles. Okay. I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so anyways, till next time, I'm Shaking Art, and I'll catch you, I'll catch you later.